My name is Steve Barnett and I'm one of the producers on Before the Spring. Prior to coming on board Before the Spring, I've worked on a lot of big studio films. I was given the screenplay for Before the Spring by Aaron and Miriam and I was blown away by it. It's a Davy and Goliath story. It's an underdog sports story. And one of the things that really struck me when I read the screenplay was, this could happen to anybody. This could happen to me and my family if things progressed the way they, they could even here in the United States. And how would I react to that? What would I do? What would I do for my family? That to me is what this movie's about. What would you do if this was happening to you? And sadly, it's happening to people right now all over the world. The reason that I want to be a part of this movie is because that story can never be told too much. It, it, it has to be told over and over again. It may not change the world, but it'll certainly educate people to at least being kind and understanding towards each other. And hopefully, and maybe in some small way, um, be part of the change that, that we saw in Egypt. The social media aspect uh, of this story excited me mostly because, uh, because we've never seen it before, but also when, when this situation was going down, I remember sitting with my children. I have three sons and I remember talking to them because they would see CNN and I watch a lot of news and I like to be educated as much as I can with the American news. Um, and I remember my son asking me a lot of questions about Cairo and we got out the iPad and we went and Google mapped it and we looked at everything. It was an amazing experience for me. And I would not have been able to have that experience had it not been for social media. My wife is Middle Eastern. Uh, one of my dearest friends in the world is from Syria. So these issues, and believe me, I've heard a lot about this from my father-in-law who is Palestinian. Um, these issues uh, ha have a little bit of a soft spot for me and I find them incredibly interesting and sad but also inspirational um, and I'm hoping that that's what this movie becomes is inspirational.